What's up everybody, I'm back with another trading session today. I will take some trades based on candlestick psychology. So let's get it started. Okay, you see that the market has been dropping like crazy and then we have a nice little buyer's trend here and then we have ranging market here and now we are in a red green pattern with long ass wicks. Okay, so you already know how I'm gonna take this trade. Do you? I will basically enter with marginal safety right here. Okay. Because this is a red green pattern, is that right? It's right. Red, green, red, green, red, green, red. So we're expecting a red candle here. Simple as that. And also, since we have long weeks, we're gonna enter at the common level. Of the long wicks this point is here and at this point is here my entry is perfect and this is my first trade let's see the result i will basically look for other pairs for opportunity okay okay uh, this is the trade that i took i don't see enough rejections for going with the buyers um but okay now i see rejections i will enter right on this blue line and about selling i will enter on this blue line okay let's go one more trade here okay and uh, yeah that's basically how it works we just have to know what markets are you dealing with okay and whenever you have these kind of movements you have to just keep calm and see that what's going on because we had this drop we created a range based on red green pattern and now we're trying to again bounce okay it re rejected if uh, there wasn't a reject there wasn't a rejection i would consider this as a breakout okay this is my second trade okay for now for now let me just look at this market from the bigger picture to see what's going on let me see okay we had this trend line okay trend line this okay it's breaking from the downside okay it's not a good option to go with buyers here okay because it's time to break out let me see there's a level it's time to break out but we have an intersection of levels so it gets a little you know kind of 50 50 if there wasn't any, any intersection i wouldn't go with buyers but for now it's possible to go with buyers but still there's a risk okay so let's go to the next pair okay here this is perfect to go with sellers for two trade i mean two candles because we might have a retracement here because uh, we have a key candle here we might have a retracement and the reason why i take this trade is because we have this trend line okay and also we have this seller's entry and previously we have strong drops there is not even a green candle in these drops so i'm expecting one more strong drop but the, the worst case scenario there's gonna be a green candle and then drop okay so this is my third trade let's see if we're gonna win this okay you see that it's still struggling at this level okay We have strong gas candles here. Um, I really wanted to take this buy here, but you know what? It touched this supply area and that's a little tricky for now to go with buyers. But I will draw this trend line to be more safer. I mean safer, not more safer. Okay. And 
this is my seller's entry look at this this is the seller's entry this is pretty obvious okay this is the zone that i'm looking for seller's entry and okay there there is perfect okay let me just see what okay i hope we don't get unlucky and lose this trade hopefully oh my goodness they're entering like crazy where they're coming from i don't know okay two one let's go it's a winning trade and uh for this one i'm expecting the seller's entry and basically this area is perfect for going with the buyer so i will make these yellow and this is my entry as a buy oh, okay here we might have a couple of sellers but i'm not sure okay okay beautiful there is a level this is basically a very strong level very strong level and uh let me see okay this is very strong level we basically could take this trade and we might have buyers again so this is 50 50. this is 50 50 we might have to create a green red pattern here and this is 50 50. okay i don't really trust this pair here we might have everything let me just check the five second what about that no not really okay we bounced off from here the next level hold on let me okay this is very strong trend line right now and uh, i'm looking for a significant level to be honest and yeah this is very good entry i mean this candle comes and closes right here okay you know what let's go with sellers this is risky as hell bro this is crazy momentum but you know what i take this trade no problem let's okay i go for two minutes right here let's see what these two trades gonna do for us okay okay this is the risky trade and this is the more safe trade this is the safe trade um yeah let's see what's going on you know the reason why i took this trade is because i'm you know already expecting this you know pair to drop and at, le at least to this area okay and i see this pattern here this is a basically seller's pattern between this trend so obviously it's gonna drop i should have taken two trades here this is a crazy mm. trade we lost yeah no problem there's a extreme level this is very i mean bro the extreme levels are so strong right here I'm pretty sure I will take a trade on this level. Not gonna lie. Okay. And also in this pair we have a trend line. Okay, we have this trend line. And we basically can count on that. Okay sometimes it's just i don't know i was expecting this green candle at the first you know trade i don't know what happens sometimes okay we have this intersection of the candles if this candle comes straight up that would be perfect but i don't think it's gonna come 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 up straight up okay here we have a nice little drop retracement again we're dropping the level was here was pretty strong we have a round number right here 
and okay i don't see any buyers activity here they're so weak okay can i go with buyers here for two trades and uh because we have this round number with two zeros right here and uh, it closed right above this round number without any seller's rejection okay and this is basically a hammer candle that there's a lot of buyers and uh, yeah i'm expecting your green candle here i can't i could enter with marginal safety but i thought it's not gonna even come down sometimes it happens okay Let's see the result. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. You know what? Uh, sometimes you have a level. Okay. Like this. Okay. Let's see. This is your level. And you see that there's also a round number. Okay. Let's say the price is here. Then again comes closes on this level. You can enter, okay, on this level. You should it should close on the level. Like for example, here it didn't close on the level. There's still a gap. So you still have to go with sellers. Okay, because the seller is gonna fill the gap. And then you break this level strongly. Okay. Then you don't have to go with buyers because this is a strong breakout. If this was a um let me if this was a uh breakout like this okay less than 50 percent of the candle which is here it might have a retracement but for now it broke like crazy and uh, uh there's no like a uh, no way it, it should retrace okay there's less probability of it giving us retracement so don't go for retracement after these kind of breakouts and also don't trade if this uh the candle didn't close properly on the level okay what about this one it closed hammer above the level above and this is also a round number so I trust it okay and yeah that's it for today guys I hope you learned something if you did drop a like for me and hit the subscribe button thank you for all your supports and likes and everything peace out